the drought lander is over season seven is back how would you two describe the new season in just one word explosive you stole it yeah all right i'm gonna stick with the ease let's alliterate uh epic, epic. okay that's what sam and Patricia said too Explosively epic. epic yeah, yeah too Okay. Well, explosive explosive. Explosive. Look at that. Interchangeable. Yeah. I like it. I like it. So your characters have been put through the ringer. Well, everyone on Outlander really is put through the ringer, but some happy yeah. news. You guys are expecting your second baby on the show. What else can we expect in this upcoming season from both of your characters? Yeah. I mean, just when you think that nothing else could happen to a character, I mean, they've been through so much and so much trauma. Um, you think that you've kind of ticked all the boxes and then all of a sudden they're hit with something else. Um, yeah, a big decision has to be made for Roger and Bree this season, and their whole world is turned upside down. It should be one of the happiest days of their lives, and it, it's not. Um, and it really catapults us into the, the entire season. So, yeah, big stuff's to come. They have a, a big journey ahead of them. Okay, and Sophie, you said that this is your favorite season yet. Mm -hmm. What makes the season stand out for you besides out of the others? I think just the magnitude of it. Um, the story is so rich. There's so much, much happening. There's old faces, there's new faces. For Brianna, she's just the woman that I've been waiting for her to become. And she's such an incredible mother and they're in an incredible place in their relationship, Roger and Brie. And I think it's it's really is, in, again, in terms of magnitude, the biggest season that we've done since season one. And season one was just so rich and so gritty and incredible. And this is, I think, just the most similar season to that. Um, and you've got 16 episodes. So you have so much time with us. You can put your feet up and just really get lost in the world. Um, and it's a really bumpy ride. Just it's it's jam packed. OK, because I know last season was shortened because of COVID. So this time we're back in full gear. I'm curious, do you guys have a favorite memory from this season? Richard, we could start with you. A favorite memory? I mean, what are we allowed to talk about? There are so many. Um, some of my favorite memories have been just enjoying time with my castmates and having a bit of a goof around on set we've got some we've got some memories of some uh, some funny bloopers that happened um i don't know how i don't know how much i can actually go into that because spoilers but we had a nice nice family time on the beach which was good yes but we were racing against the time because the tide was coming in someone had maybe missed a detail in the location scouting and we got there at the exact time the tide was coming in so we had about i don't know two feet of actual beach to work with so a think, tiny bit of sunset <laughs> yeah a tiny bit of sun uh, two foot of uh, actual sand width and um, children struggling with blisters so children, we're carrying them back and children forth. just struggling generally <laughs> speaking and uh, children being children but us being like really awesome cool we're cool fun, parents, parents. We're yeah. Of us. yeah you guys are cool parents on the show <laughs> yeah. yeah roger and brianna they're, they're so. good yeah, yeah. They balance each other out. Yeah, they really do. Um, and before we wrap up here, I want to do a quick little rapid fire co-stars and censored with you guys. So first question, first impressions of each other. Ooh, uh, the first time I met you, Rich was handing out chocolate. So I was like, tick, like this guy. Um, oh. And also I remember thinking you had really, really nice eyes. Oh, thanks, yeah, I was like, he's, he's got kind eyes. My first impression, and then it went, whoosh, no, I'm kidding. My first impression was a very... A very kind and thoughtful, talented young individual. Oh, thanks. Oh, that. that's very sweet. About how about your favorite memory together? Oh golly, we have a oh. lot. We've known each other a long time now. Yeah, that's um, a lot of memories. Um, on screen or off, you have to you have to choose one. Yeah, we've done. Um, let's do let's do on screen. On screen has to be well, one of them. I mean, there's been a lot since then, and there's a lot this season. But I don't want to give spoilers. But season two, one of the first things we had together. We're in the car, Roger and Brianna are supposed to not really know each other that well yet. And we hadn't really spent much time together yet, but we just got on like a house on fire from the off. And there's this scene where we are absolutely wetting ourselves in the car, just giggling our heads off, just stupid dorky conversations that we have all the time. Um, and they happened to capture it on camera and we didn't I know mean, that they we were filming were it. It's now in the app. Yeah, we were in stitches. And so Roger and Brianna aren't really supposed to know each other that well yet. And yet on screen they are absolutely just giggling away in the car and it's quite cute now because it's like oh look That's at roger and brie getting on all well and do you remember the time we were filming in in a pub in the 60s and um i can't exactly yeah. remember the you know the ins and outs of the scene but we decided to replace Gaelis. our prop Gaelis, yeah we replaced our prop whiskey with actual, with whiskey. actual glenfiddich and we were old. so drunk <laughs> we just sat there. <laughs> 
Getting it's actually drunk. when Galus comes Take over and talks to us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're like, and I think Hi. we're acting a little drunk, but we weren't, <laughs> we weren't really acting. We yeah. were, you know, we were, we were, we were on way. Yeah. Yeah. I love oh, that. And last question. What's one thing you've both learned from each other over the years, either professionally or personally? I think we've kind of, you know what, we came on this big journey together and I think we've gone through it as a team and I think we've taught each other a lot, but I think as a team, um, we've kind of, I think we've, well, we have this thing now, Coke boiled ham, which is our code word for, for having a tough day. Um, and which is to kind of bring each other out of, out of the toughness. So it's I like think- It's like a safety world. It's like our yeah. safety world yeah. but for when one of us is being grumpy and it's like, life's not that bad. We're in a good place. Yeah. Keep the spirits high. Because we we're, we're long we're days. We shooting can be hard. Yeah. So it can be a long shooting sometimes. Yeah. You, you lose yourself a little bit in that and you, you might get a little bit grumpy. Mm-hmm. One of us or the other. And we say cold yeah. boiled ham if it goes too far. To it's bring like, us come out on. of it. So it's almost like the old us has taught the new us. So as a duo, as opposed to each other, it's yeah. kind of like we've just, yeah, just come through a lot together, haven't we?